A drama is playing out high above us tonight, a first of its kind mission to wake up a sleeping satellite. NASA had written it off until a small group of science fans raised money and convinced the space agency to let them borrow the spacecraft. Here's Mark Alberts. 36 years ago, NASA launched this disco era satellite to study solar weather. It discovered how solar flares can disrupt communications on Earth. It also became the first satellite to chase down a comet, flying by Halley's Comet in 1986 and confirming it's essentially a giant ball of ice. But as newer, more sophisticated satellites went into orbit, NASA eventually put the aging bird out to planetary pasture. So it's a smart satellite? It's a cleverly designed satellite that doesn't really have a computer. So how smart is it? Your toaster is smarter. It may lack smarts, but it's still capable of running experiments. So Keith Cowing and a group of 20 convinced NASA for the first time to turn the weakened satellite over to their group of space enthusiasts. We've sort of taken command of an abandoned spacecraft and we're giving it back to the people who paid for it. $150,000 raised by crowdfunding online will pay for programming, hardware, and use of radio telescopes. All the new data will be open to anyone so they can make their own discoveries about solar weather patterns or how a spacecraft ages. This is a satellite that NASA had no intention of using again. Jeff Yoder at NASA helped broker the deal. With this unique, unique arrangement, uh, it really will stimulate the next generation scientists. But the reboot team hunkered down at the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico now faces a more urgent mission. The spacecraft is off course and may be headed for a collision with the moon. Even if it doesn't crash, it won't be this close to Earth again anytime soon. When's your next chance? There is no next chance. It'll be decades from now. This is it? This is it. A race to recover a relic. Mark Albert, CBS News, Washington.